Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and welcome back to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, where we have a few things to do today. Uh, good amount of stuff. I'm not gonna give you the big reveal of what we're do, the main thing we're doing, because we've got a few many things to do first, or two of them to be exact that I can think of. Uh, so first of all, uh, update on uh, Operation Iron Sunk. I've decided that every episode or two, I'm gonna give you an update on how I'm doing. So nobody accuses me of spawning in all these iron blocks because it's going to be pretty impressive seeing how much, uh, how big this thing is. And people are going to be like, there's no way you got that much iron. But I'm going to show you, it goes like episodically. Uh, so as you can see, I have filled in, I've almost completed the first layer of iron blocks, but not quite there yet. I've gone through about, I don't know, I've, I've gone like, 15 iron blocks and placed them, 15 iron blocks and placed them. I'd say I've gone about to at least two to three more stacks of iron blocks because between episode 18 and now, I have AFK'd for about about 24 hours. Uh, the iron farm's pretty decent. Uh, so I've done a few stacks of iron blocks within 24 hours of AFKing. And uh, saying uh, we also need to do, uh-oh, you're seeing my inventory. Uh, but something that needs to get done is the tree needs to get taken down. Uh, uh, I imagine that's probably going to be very boring now that I think about it. So, now yeah, let's just cut them down, because I'm planning to have a time lapse once again, and I don't want it to be a super duper short episode, because uh, I'm getting a lot of support for this series. This is one of my most enjoyed series by my fan, uh, by you guys, of course, uh, you guys seem to really like this series at certain points. Some episodes do better than others. But it seems like this is by far my most popular series. Uh, not that many uh, not that many people actually like uh, Mindplex Madness. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that series. Uh, I've got big plans for the future, and Mindplex Madness might not be a part of that future. Unless people start showing serious support for it. It may get cancelled. I have no idea. I'm going to have to get that glowstone down at some point. But I'm not... Oh my, I'm going to have a completely full inventory in a few seconds. And if I hate anything, it's I I hate inventory clutter. But what we have here is the beginnings of our very next automated farm. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. And oh my gosh. Uh, so a problem I have... At the lag. Usually the lag's not bad, but today, since I'm over near McMother Cluckers, the lag is very, very bad. Uh, so, I think I have a solution to fix the problem. Because there's a lot of entities because of all the chickens. But, my genius idea. I will get rid of the entities. I have way too much chicken already. I have uh, probably a total of uh, at least a double chest's worth of chicken. So at this point, I don't need the chicken anymore. So you could probably guess what I have planned. Actually, while I'm down here, I need to uh, unload a few things. Oh my, I'm just crashing into a wall because of lag. Work, stupid mouse. Okay, so I'm just, uh, let's just drop off this some of this wool we have right here. Uh, just so I... Uh, what colors? I need to drop off a yellow, a red. Goodbye, Mr. Yellow. Goodbye, Mr. Red. Uh, blue, magenta, and purple. Uh, goodbye, magenta. Goodbye, purple. And finally, goodbye, d dark blues over there. Okay, so that's pretty good. All It's all good in the neighborhood. Uh, I'm just going to place this in here because I don't feel like putting this stuff up right now. Uh, you guys are going to stay in here, have a good life, but you may be wondering what kind of far uh, farm we're going to be building today. It's the next farm. I haven't built a farm in a few episodes. It's been, uh, The last, most recent farm I built is the iron farm, and that was a good, hmm, how long ago is that? Uh, I'd say five episodes? Uh... Either way, I don't I don't know exactly how many episodes, but either way, it's a long time. Uh, what amazes me most is that this is episode 19, uh, and I can't even remember what half the episode tour about. So, OMG, this lag is bad. So, what we are going to do 
is we are going to start exterminating the ch the chickens and just so that I it's so laggy it could probably hardly even walk over there uh video let's just set down my render distance significantly now my render distance is extremely uh, low and so I whoa that's weird <laughs> those things didn't add in and it looks really weird seeing that hole without its stuff in it uh but of course, goodbye, it chickens. You served me very well. Have a good afterlife or whatever you feel like doing. You it were very good chickens. I enjoyed you. You are my friends. I will forever miss you. Bye bye. And now, that should seriously help the lag, cause. I've got, if I ever want to fix the farm, I've got well more than enough eggs to <laughs> fix this thing. Uh, so those guys will eventually die, hopefully, uh, and that'll be good. Uh, so, yes, we will be building a cactus farm. As you can see, we've got some of the beginnings right here. This is the same cactus farm as uh, I had in the very first episode of my cancelled series, uh, Prison the Taken King, which only... I, prison the rival king which ever only had one episode but it was because nobody showed support for the series and I didn't think I could really make it a good series because you got uh, I mostly depend on well there's two things uh, uh, bleh, a good let's play is based on uh, comedy and uh, comedy and content you've got to have good comedy uh, make people laugh in good uh, content, entertain people of interesting content. Uh, I rely more on content because I'm not very funny. Uh, so, I was thinking, uh, a prison series requires a lot of comedy because there's not a massive amount of content in prison series. And I was like, can't I can't provide enough comedy to make a really good prison series. I was like, if I'm not going to make something of good quality... Why even make some? Uh, why even do it to begin with? You know what I mean. Uh, so, as uh, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be a great old cactus. Uh, yeah, the entire cactus farm is going to be inside of a giant cactus. It's going to be a nice cactus. Hopefully, I don't completely run out of stuff. Stuff these stuff stuff stuff. Uh, I probably will want to leave a door right here, a three-way door. I can always fill it in at a later date. But, as I always say, when you've got a lot to do and not to, and it's kind of uh, just doing the same repetitious task over and over again, what do you do? You time-lapse! <laughs>
And that's pretty much it. Uh, so what I was trying to do with this cactus over here is, as you can see, I was making the prickly thingies, the nether bricks. And that's, uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, but, hmm, yeah, it doesn't look like how I was trying to turn it out. If any of you guys guessed, this is the same, eh, I got the idea for this from Mindplex in the Micro Battles minigames. There's the map with the cacti, and you're on giant cacti, and they had nether slab, uh, brick slabs as the thingies, but I don't know what I did wrong. I'm gonna go play that, play Micro Battles for a while, get on the map, and see what I did wrong, because I want it to look like they did on Mindplex, but other than that, it looks like how it's supposed to be. It's a giant green square obstructing the entire view, which is, unless I make it look good, then I might have to rethink how I make this, because a giant green square is pretty ugly. And I completely ran out of clay and stuff. I just have a few pieces of hardened clay left, so that's not going to be good. But some of you may not understand how this farm works. Uh, yeah, truth be told, I hope for this to be kind of a tutorial video for those who don't. Now, how it'll work is, I will eh, eh, place a cactus here. And if you know, a cactus cannot be by another block because it instantly breaks it. So whenever the cactus grows, I said whenever the cactus grows, oh yeah, I can't even place the block there because whenever it'll grow... Uh, the fence will cause it to break, which will drop into the water, and it'll eventually go into that hopper, going all the way back to my base, into the sorting room, where I have a place specifically made for, well, a new bin for cactus. Uh, I only have two cactus, because the rest I turned the cactus green, because I thought I'd need a lot of cactus green to make all this lime green wool. Uh, <coughs> not wool, clay. So... That's how it's going to work. It's going to grow. It's going to get pushed into the hopper. And the hopper, of course, is going to take it to the centralized area where all my hoppers, right around here, where they all go down into my base. Uh, and that'll be pretty good. Uh, you could get a glimpse of it right here. Yeah, that's where all of my hoppers converge. Uh, oh, I thought I saw something go in there for a second. Where all the... Uh, so all my, my iron farm, my sugarcane farm, my slime ball farm, and this cactus farm, they all filter into that thingy. I might take this down, because if I can't make it look really good, then it's just going to be a giant obstruction of the view. And I don't want that to be done. Oh, uh, something else I need to show you. I made a sign right here of all the things that need to be done. So, I forgot to put cactus chunk, eh, cactus farm there, but fix the window, oh yeah. Uh, a window just randomly disappeared right there. I don't know when it went, but there, <laughs> there's a window gone. A pumpkin slash melon farm, which will be the next project I want to work on. Blaze farm. Maybe a bridge. That's why there's been those cobblestone thingies off the... Uh, thingy I was thinking of making a bridge, but it doesn't really look that good. Operation Iron Sunk. That's going to be here forever. And take down the Christmas tree. We almost done that. But to complete this, we need to relook at the map, load it in. It actually looks pretty cool on the map, uh, especially at the prickles. Wait a second. What's that pink thing on the building? Willy! Willy the worm! What are you doing here? I thought you were in the mine digging up some ores. So, apparently Willy the worm has left the mine. Uh, if you guys don't remember, this is Willy, Willy the worm from Zadaf Plays channel. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. Zadaf plays one of the coolest Minecraft YouTubers of them all, but Willy the Worm has been frequently eh, frequenting my world. So what are you doing, Willy the Worm? What? Uh, I'm not sure if you heard him, but what he told me is that he's gonna probably be making cameo appearances in every episode in like a different place, hidden in random areas for each episode, and that's pretty cool. So Willy the Worm's up on the roof right now. Hey, Willy. So. Okay, so Willy the Worm, that's a nice appearance. And so, I do not like having a giant green square there. I'll probably refix it. I'll probably rework it. It'll take me freaking forever to get this whole thing down. But if I make it look good, instead of looking like a big green block, it'll look like a cactus, a massive cactus in the area. And I'm not sure. I don't know if I really want it to be that tall. Maybe I'll make it a squished cactus. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I just got to take down that stuff later. Oh, uh, and if you guys don't mind, I'm going to show one little thing I did off camera. 
Uh, on my mob farm, I kept getting fool and stuff, and I was like, okay. Uh, I was just throwing out all the drops because I didn't need them, really. But then I decided I hate to waste items. I was throwing them out, so I need to find a place to put them all. So I made this whole storage thingy. Oh, let's go empty it while we are here. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so this is for run flesh. Boom. Then second chest, we have gunpowder. Uh, boom. Arrows is the third one. Fourth, we have bones. Uh, so I just started filling these up about a few days ago. So you can see in a few days, my mob farm is pretty good. And this is other. All I have in here is 22 spider eyes, which is actually all the spider eyes I've ever gotten while on in a uh, stranded city. That's all I've gotten. I need to get these ores. There's some nice redstone and some lapis. I love the lapis. It's all about that lapis, about that lapis. No iron. Yeah. So, that's all I've got to sew for you today. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the Axel Empire. I plan on maybe next episode working on making a pumpkin slash melon farm, because then I'd have unlimited pumpkin pie and melons. Hooray. Uh, but also leave a comment. Oop, I punched that bat. Sorry, Mr. Bat. I uh, don't want Batman to come and get me. But leave a comment on what you think I should do in a future episode. That would be greatly appreciated. Shout out to Mega uh, Mega Rayquaza Deluxe for uh, being a big fan of the series. Uh, so just leave a comment on what you think I should do next. And until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment. And goodbye!